I like that spine chilling feeling, that, that goosebumps up the spine, you know, that, that you really got me. Da -da -da -da. It's, like a, it's like an orgasm, you know. Thanks. When we toured with Kiss, they were like like monsters, man. It lines up of chicks outside their rooms every night, you know. It's wickedly, what's the matter with me? I'm trying to pull this. A living legend. Kids out there think you've got a guitar, you make a hit record and you make millions of dollars and you just live happily ever after. It isn't that way at all. It's like very hard work, very hard break, and you get your rewards and, and, and things. You, know, you do get a lot of things like gold discs, platinum discs, cars, houses, and you know, then you've got things like divorces, management rip-offs, fatigue, drugs, alcohol, you know, hangovers, and you've got to go on the next night, you've been up all night burning your bridges, and you've got to go, hi guys, it's good to be back on stage again. You know, you're feeling like crap inside, you know. Very often I asked them, what do they think I would be doing if I wasn't rock and roll? And I, and I kept saying, you know, my answer to that is I'd probably be in prison. Why is that? Because I just wanted, I didn't want to get a regular job. I couldn't conform to any system. I didn't want to get a job at a, I had several jobs in factories and, you know, different jobs. But rock and roll has got this sort of uh, uh, outlawish thing with it. You, know, you can do what you want and you don't have to get up and listen to some big, fat, baldy old fart telling you to take this box and stick it over there, you know. So tell me about, you know, what happened when all of a sudden you got rich and you could buy the, everything you wanted and the Well, what, what happened, it didn't work out exactly like uh, Cinderella. We got, started to think we were like gods. We all went out and bought fast cars and everything. But we had a manager. And as we become, because we came from the back streets of Birmingham, we didn't have any much of a, a business education. We let him con us, as it was. We got ripped off for lots of money in the early days, but we didn't care. We were seeing America, we were having fun, screwing as many groupies as we could, smoking as much dope, getting just, you know, out of it in general. And basically having a good time. And that was the fun years because we started, until we started to realise one day, hey, we must be earning a lot more than this guy's actually given us. So it's not all uh, no, it's not. a pretty story. It's hard bloody work and you've, you've got to be a businessman and I'm not a businessman, you know. You know, I'm, I'm very fortunate to, in, to this day now. My wife is my manager. She, she knows the business, but I, I don't know the business side of rock and roll. I don't want to know it either. We came to America, and we, we, we thought, like, drugs and all that was just a part of the gig, you know? You know, you just get stoned, and you just get f***ed up, and that, and that make you gig and all that. And what happened with Black Sabbath? We all ended up junkies and alcoholics and everything. Like, the drummer ended up in a, in a, in a, in a re rehabilitation center. I did for a while, and in, in, in the end, disaster happens. It's, it's, uh, it's inevitable to happen, disaster, because it's like drugs, they were okay at the time, but we outgrew them, you know. We just, you know, we took LSD, we took cocaine, we took vast amounts of uh, marijuana. It was fun at the time, but then so we, and we all just sort of, so it's not a very good idea anymore. So you have a more stable life now? No. <laughs> You can't screw someone in and think, I just lay that chick because she's going to go, honey, you're dead, you know? <laughs> Frenzy and hatred. What was the Betty Ford Clinic like? Boring. No, actually, the educational value was OK. It made me realise that I was an alcoholic and I am a, a drug addict. But I still am an alcoholic and you always are, you know? It's, um... But you feel better now? No.